Hey everybody, so here we are at the Habitat Restore and I just love it. When I walk up and they're pushing these loads of items outside, I know they're going to be deeply discounted. I mean, look at these barber chairs. We had seen them before, $100, but they've got a mark down now to $50. Wouldn't that be fun to have one of those in your house? And look at this load of mirrors they pushed out. Oh, I love that one up front. Let me see. $12. I mean, they're practically giving it away. And this store's hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 to 4, and I'll link their address below. Oh, I can't wait. Here we go. And here's a shot around the store, and you guys know the drill by now. We're going to get into all the areas. And this is just another reason we need to shop our restore more often. This bench was sold, but look at this one for $48. I love that wicker bench. And look at this. So you get three pieces. You get the coffee table and two end tables for $150. You know, I love that carved wood. Oh, those are fancy. Oh, so, so fancy. And definitely shop your restore for pillows. This one's $450. Okay, I want you to look at these. So these are higher end brand new pieces. It's $1,500 for this table and four chairs. It's by Johnston Casual Furniture. They're handmade pieces from North Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Look these up online. They go for thousands and thousands of dollars online. I mean, one's more gorgeous than the other. Look at this. These chairs actually felt like they had some type of metal back. And again, these are brand new pieces of furniture. And look at this red chippy wicker chair for a little over $40. I love it. I love that shabby chic look of it. Okay, it's the first of many things I found here for your friend who has everything. You could get them this pillow with the birds with the mohawk haircuts. I don't know. And here's some more of that Johnston Casual Furniture. This table is a little over $700 and online, look it up. It's gonna be several thousand dollars. Oh, and I love that chair, just that unique design. Oh, and here's some more of the pillows. I love the red, $7 a piece. And look at this, for $150, you could get four of these chairs. And I hope you can see the thread in it. It actually has a little bit of a sheen or a shine. And look at those fancy legs. And here's a round iron leg table for $75. I love that oak top, I love that pattern, but look at those legs. Isn't that beautiful? You know I love that swirly iron. And they've got these chairs sitting around it so you could get four of these chairs for $48. To me, I would probably put it with a different table, but you know what, if you're on a budget or you wanna save money, definitely shop your restore four chairs for 48 bucks. Oh, and this china hutch caught my eye, so it's $150, and this looks like a vintage piece of furniture. Oh, and I'm moving furniture <laughs> out of the way so we can get over here and take a look. Oh, look at those drawer pulls. Isn't that beautiful? And we're just kind of going back through their dining room section. They had tons of dining room tables and chairs here today. Look at this table. So you get the table and four chairs for $200. And you know, like I always say, a touch-up marker, those scratches are gonna go away. I love the bones of this furniture. I think these chairs are absolutely beautiful. And someone was asking on my channel if they still had that plaid armchair. They do, it's a little over $100. I love those colors on it. I think it's beautiful. I'm actually shocked that they still have it. And this chair just caught my eye for $14. I love that carving on the back of it. 
And you know, every now and again, I run across these chairs. They have like this leather seating on the bottom. And you know, I have to look at the china. So this is Noritake china, circa 1950s to 1960s. You get 46 pieces for $48. And look, it's got a K on it. How fabulous is that? Y'all know by now, my name is Kelly. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like it was made for me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Isn't that beautiful? Alan, look at these cups. And the name of the china is Gold Art. Isn't that beautiful? And definitely check your re-store for crafting supplies. So this is a whole bag of Stampin' Around stamps, $18. And I had never seen any like this, but it looks like it actually has the little handled roller that goes with it. Y'all have to let me know, have you used these before? Are these good stamps? And here's some more crafting supplies. These were $3 a piece. You just never know what they're gonna have at the ReStore. It's so much fun to go several days a week just to see what they've got in. Oh, and I love, love, love this lamp. So they test their lighting here at this ReStore. This lamp's $18. I'm not really a fan of the shade, but I love the lamp. And look at this, sometimes the restores will mark items down. So this huge hutch, we'd seen it before. It's a Broyhill hutch. It's marked down now to $150. That is a steal of a deal. And look at this coffee table. I think that said $32. The top needs a little bit of work, but look how fabulous this is. I love it. Again, it's that shabby chic vibe. And definitely check your restore for baskets. Lately, I've just been running across tons of these. Oh, and you know I have to stretch up here. It's my yoga. <laughs> Let's see, $2, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, and this one caught my eye, $3.50. And I love how it's got the rope in with it. Very unique. Oh, and this one's $1.50. And typically they're not very expensive. Oh, and look at these pillows. These were probably my favorite, $5.50 a piece. I love those colors. And here's another shot around the store. And you know, when you shop your Habitat Restore, you're going to help someone else with home ownership and home repairs. And look at this vintage wooden rocker for $65. I typically run across a rocker about every time I go to the Restore. Oh, and you know I love the swirly metal. These are sconces, $1.50 a piece. And look at this. So it feels like leather. It's $150. They've got it labeled as a vintage sofa. I love it because it's a smaller size. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite deals at the ReStore here today. So it's $100 for all four bar stools. Look at that. Typically, you're going to pay about that for one bar stool. Oh, and they're so pretty. That feels like some type of tweed material. <laughs> okay, for your friend who has everything, you could get them a human whoopee cushion <laughs> vase for $1.50. I don't know. Maybe you could use it as a toothbrush holder. 
and you know I love the dishware and look at this so it's a vintage piece for a dollar and the 5-43 means that it was made in May of 1943 and definitely shop your restore for beds. I mean, look at this. You get the headboard, footboard, no rails, but you could buy the rails. $28. And here's some more bar stools. I couldn't believe it, so I turned the corner. These are absolutely gorgeous. $30 a piece. Oh, those are so pretty. $30. So I'm going back in their kitchenware section and look at this, they have more bar stools. And I love that one, $18. And I only saw one of those. But look at these, I love just the different heights of these. Okay, do not gamble at Terrible's Casino. <laughs> it just sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, and I love to look at the mugs at the ReStore. They're typically 50 cents a piece. So what does that say? Believe in your dreams and imagine anything is possible. Absolutely. And you know we have to look through their cookbooks. They go anywhere from 75 cents up to $1.25. And what does this say? Bacon, beans, and beer. <laughs> I don't know. Is that a good combination? You'll have to let me know. Oh, soup cuisine. I love to make soups. Oh, rotisserie chicken. That'd be fun. Just some different recipes with your rotisserie chicken. And look at this. A thousand and one cocktails. That'd be fun. Oh, the ultimate guide to appetizers cookbook. They just have so many different selections here. Oh, and let's see. 222 slow cooker recipes. And this caught my eye so handcrafted in Brazil I think it's just a little creamer oh yes summer vibes I'm so ready for summer vibes and look at this so my restore gets lots or loads of items in so these are mainstay a dollar a piece BPA free and it's wide mouth mason jar infuser so you put your fruit down in it so it doesn't get in your water and you can put a straw through the top of it. I thought that was a really clever idea. And they had several of these two-tiered desks here. They looked practically brand new. They're $25 a piece. I should have got one of those. And now we're just kind of going back towards their antiques and uniques collection area. Oh, and you know, of course, I have to look at the flowers. That's beautiful. $5. And look at this nightstand. So it's a little over $100. And look, I love it. It's got the tabletop pull out. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. And look at this coffee table. You know I love this swirly metal, $38. And look at these fancy dishes. So $7 a dish. And they're made for Vitri, but they're handmade in Italy. And I looked this up. This company that makes these is on the Amalfi Coast. And here's an older crock with a lid, $20. Oh, and I gotta tell you, this thing's heavy. <laughs> so it's made in Marshall, Texas. I just love old crocs. I don't know. My grandma used to make chow chow in a huge croc in her dining room. It smelled terrible, but oh my gosh, it tastes so good. And here's another vintage piece. This is made in Syracuse, China. A sugar bowl for $2. I would probably put that in my bathroom with like cotton balls in it instead. And look at this cookie jar. It's a vintage cookie jar for $6.50. I loved it with the rooster. I love those colors. Okay, this is $4. It's a tiny little pitcher and dish. It would be a perfect toothbrush holder and a soap dish. And look at this table. They've marked it down. It's 40 bucks now. I think it would be perfect as a DIY project, again, with some of that chalk paint. And look at this one. I would do nothing to this, so I love the lion's head decor on it. They said it's a vintage piece for $55. 
I think that would be perfect in an entryway. Look at that. That's a pretty piece of furniture. And here's another piece waiting to be priced. You can't buy it this day. They entice you to come back the next day to see what the price is. But look at this. Isn't that beautiful? And they actually had like a big armoire to match this. And look, it's Kincaid furniture. I gotta tell you, that is some of the best furniture I've ever bought. It's what I bought with my very first paycheck whenever I started working right out of school. And look, they're bringing this out just right now. I'm so excited to see it coming through the doors. It's a leather chase lounge. Here's another one of those items. You can't buy it today. You gotta come back tomorrow to see what the price is. Oh, I thought that was beautiful. And here's another shot of that Chase Lounge they pushed out. They just cleaned it. I think they do a fabulous job here just kind of making the merchandise look good. And look at this burled wood. Oh, I thought this was beautiful too. I would do nothing to this. I love the little nicks and scratches on it. Again, a perfect entryway table. Okay, they're calling this a dry vanity with top. It's $110. That felt like some type of stone on the top of it. Oh my gosh, you just do not see furniture like this every day. Isn't that beautiful? You know, I have to open the drawer. Oh, that is a pretty piece of furniture. And look at these director's chairs. You got two chairs for $40. I thought that was a fabulous deal. And look at this Broyhill desk. So it's $200. I would take those touch-up markers and just kind of fix all those little nicks in the basket weave in the front. But look at this. It's got tons of storage. And I love that it has the design on the side. Isn't that a fancy desk? <laughs> love it. And this caught my eye for $16. This is a newer piece. But I love, love, love those colors in that. Look at that. And talk about you never know what you're going to find at the ReStore. So this is a Pier 1 Kids bunk bed set for $150. And it looks brand new. $150. Bucks. You know you pay more than that at Pier 1. And another gift for your friend who has everything. You could get them a bunny riding an Easter egg at this ReStore for $450. <laughs> And look at this, so for $125, and of course I love their faux greenery, but look at this chest of drawers, $125. I love the color. It looks like it's in fabulous shape. And look at the little flower design on the front. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love, love, love that piece of furniture. And this ReStore does a silent auction, and we had seen this piece last week back in the back. They've decided to put it in their auction, and i got to tell you, this is an English tilt-top table. They've done some research on it. It's circa 1850s to 1870s, possibly made in India with various exotic hardwoods. So look at that, a table made in the 1800s in that good a condition. Isn't that amazing? So in the silent auction, if you find something you like, you go through, you put your name and contact information in their book. If you're the winning bid at the end of the auction, you get to come in and buy the item. So here's some Beatles albums. That one says circa 1962 to 1966. And they've got some, the love song collection of the Beatles and the Beatles songbook. I mean, you just never know what you're gonna find, especially in these auctions. And number 15 is a Pepsi crate, and it's from Charleston, South Carolina. Number 14 is some Linux birds. Number 13 is the 1940s Life magazines. And look at that, you could get a magazine back then for 10 cents. <laughs> and lot number 12 is some old cast iron skillets. And lot number 11 is old milk bottles with the caps and the cap plugs. I think they're from Meyer Dairy, and I think there's a bottle from Biltmore. 
and lot number nine is uranium glass and that'll actually glow in the dark like under a black light and lot number seven is an African collection and it's got a kalimba and a kalimba is like a thumb piano I thought that was really cool lot number six is Linux elephants And look at this coming up. So lot number four is an Audubon book by John James Audubon, The Birds of America. And that's circa 1946. Oh, and a Vera Bradley purse. I love Vera Bradley. Oh, and then here's an old perfume bottle and a bride's book. So I hope everyone's had fun shopping with me today. Please just like and subscribe, spread the word so our channel can keep growing. And look, you guys say, do you ever buy anything? So here I am buying a lamp. <laughs> I just couldn't leave without it. So I loved it so much. It was $18. I thought it was a fantastic deal. I was so happy. <laughs> and I wanted to showcase this sign I found. So it says, be thankful always. And I think that just speaks it all. You know, be thankful for your health, your your family, your friends, your circle, you know, whatever it is, just small things you could be thankful for. I'm thankful for my crazy cat, Ric Flair, um, but I'm also thankful for each and every one of you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day, and until next time, come go with me today. Bye!